So today I changed out my tire uh, snow tires with summer tires. And before I had them changed out, I did a um, a test loop tracking my uh, efficiency on the freeways. And I just had my summer tires put on, and then I just went to the supercharger to um, charge up to about where I was before. And um, now I'm gonna do the same loop and I wanna see the difference. So before, so I did about 20 miles. Um, I was at 60% charge and I had made sure the battery was warm and stuff. Um, I drove around a little bit, did some regen so the battery was warm. It's also sunny today so the car was warm. It was 46 degrees then, it's 52 degrees now, Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep it at about uh, 75 unless I have to pass somebody. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Also at the supercharger, uh, for the first time, as far as I know, there was a Model 3. Somebody from Ann Arbor who had gotten a silver Model 3 uh, in December. They said theirs was VIN 600. Uh, so one of the early ones. Um, I'm not sure where they're traveling, but uh, Ann Arbor is on the eastern side of the state. We're on the west side, so. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so there's a Model 3 there, so I talked to them, uh, sat in it, looked at it. The silver looks really good. They had silver on black with the, um, with the arrow wheels. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I, I saw the silver demo at the Tesla factory tour when I was there. And um, I, think it, I think it looked really nice, especially with the, with the uh, contour lines of the Model 3. Um, and it looks really good. And uh, black looks really good inside as well. Um, so I, I played around with their screen a little bit because um, they were really nice and they were letting um, they, they let me in and um, it's definitely faster uh, than what I have I mean it's they, they had the maps on satellite images and you, you put your finger on it and drag it around zoom in and there's almost no lag so that's really cool um, we're getting our Model X next Saturday which is the 26th or 4th 24th and uh, I think I think my Model X is late enough that it should have the new rumored MCU. Actually, I think it was confirmed. So hopefully um, it'll have a similar or at least faster performance compared to the, 70, the 2015 that I have right now. Anyway, it was really cool. It's definitely smaller, um, but I mean, sitting in it, there's plenty of headroom. Um, so there's, yeah. <laughs> I didn't ride in it, so I can't can't say anything about that. But unlike the previous one that I saw, this time I was actually able to um, to sit in it. But um, a neighbor of ours is actually getting a Model Three this month, uh, so I'm hoping to connect with him and um, actually get to drive in it. So um, yeah, I still have my reservation. I haven't canceled it yet, but um, for me, I I probably will not be. Uh, getting a Model 3 for our needs. Um, anyway, yeah. All right, so far we've gone five miles. I'm on autopilot. You guys will show the road. Uh, yeah, I'm on autopilot and it's telling me to uh, make sure I'm still watching. There we go. Yeah, it's going pretty smooth. No traffic this time. Got to make sure I take the right exit here, so. I did forget, um, on the earlier run, I didn't use any um, air conditioning or heating. And um, it's pretty comfortable right now. It's not the inside of the car really doesn't need any air conditioning or anything. But I just realized I had the uh, climate control on um, for the 
over the last eight point eight and a half miles, but it wasn't heating. It might have been using a little bit of uh, AC, but probably not much. So I think that's going to have a negligible effect. But what I'm trying to prove here actually is that the summer tires, which are the ones that I have on now, um, well, I'm not trying to prove. I I know they get. I know they're more efficient, but. I want to know how much more efficient. Um, so, you know, if I use a little extra energy using the AC, you know, it's not going to cloud things up too much, I don't think. So, on we uh, we press on now. We press on. <laughs> aggressive um, turn uh, what do you call these on ramp off ramp on the freeway when I took this earlier I didn't realize it was so sharp so my uh, snow tires actually um, slid a little bit probably because it was um, you know it was between 40 and 50 degrees out and the snow tires start getting a little bit soft once you get that warm anyway I was just noticing the difference because I was, when I took the turn with these tires, it was still sharp, but uh, it didn't slip at all. It, um, it definitely gripped. Okay, coming up to the area where I ended last time. It was right at this stop light. So right about here. So let's see what the final after all that deceleration. All right. Oh, and it's got the parking sensor. Oh, there we go. 334 watt. Okay. I guess it's gonna be hidden there for a little bit. I guess I'll put it on this side. There we go. All right. So, 334 watt hours per mile, 20.1 miles total. So what does that mean? That's that's about right in terms of summer tires. Um, I mean, when I'm making calculations, I probably use uh, like 300 watt hours per mile to do calculations, but it really ends up being about 320 over the long haul. Um, so yeah, 327, or wait, 337? No, I already forgot, but anyway, with the snow tires, it was uh, 357. Um, so not a huge difference over 20 miles, uh, but it can add up. Um, so let's, let's do some calculations here. Okay, so the difference uh, between those two, 357 and 334 is 23. Uh, so there's a difference of 23 watt hours per mile. 23 is uh, 7% of 334, so what that means is that um, if I have summer my summer tires and I, and I change to winter tires, I'll be using 7% more energy, which for my battery, I have the 70, which uh, when I calculate, I usually assume that I have actually 65 available. It's probably a little more than that. It might be 68, uh, but anyway, 7% of 65 is uh, four and a half um, so that means I'm using an additional four and a half kilowatt hours uh, if I use my if I use my entire battery so um, in the winter when I would be using snow tires uh, four and a half um, watt hours I mean four and a half kilowatts kilowatt hours is probably I don't know that could be like um, probably around 10 miles or something like that. So, I don't know, that could make a difference between getting somewhere and not getting somewhere. But if you have a bigger battery, like the 100, obviously 70% of that is gonna be seven. So, that would be, um, again, if it, if it was a Model S, assuming winter conditions, uh, seven kilowatt hours would, uh, I mean, I use about 400 watt hours per mile. So seven kilowatt 
hours uh, would be, uh, I don't know, what is that, like 20, uh, hold on, I'm making a turn. Anyway, that's about 17, 18 miles or something like that. Um, again, not huge, and that's stretching out over the entire battery, um, but still 17 miles. So there you have it. Those are the results of uh, summer tires versus winter tires. As close as I could get it, the temperature is reasonably close. Snow tires, the temperature is 46. Summer tires, the temperature is 53. Uh, tire air pressures. Um, it's warm today, so my snow tires were a little bit high. I think they were probably like 40, I don't know, 47 or something like that. Um, and these ones that were just put on, they're, they're all about 45 or 46. But generally that doesn't make much of a difference unless it's like really flat. Um, and I was not using climate control except for a little bit accidentally um, on this run which would have been just AC, so yeah. So it confirms that the summer tires are, uh, you get a little bit more range, and it also confirms that it's not a huge amount. So other factors, um, I usually estimate that I get about 30% less range on a true winter day, even less if there's like a lot of snow on the ground. But anyway, um, all that to say, Snow tires probably do, well, they do decrease it a little bit, but a lot of other winter factors are responsible for the more significant decrease in range during winter. So, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Oh.